Well, hi everybody, my name is Sean McGuire. I'm one of the potters here at Casanova Artisans, and I'd like to do a short series of videos explaining a little bit about, uh, well, about my process and about my work. And um, uh, the first video that I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about um, a Japanese tea bowl, which is, um, you can see, a rather, you know, sizable bowl. And um, so there's really not a lot of understanding of why, you know, this would be used for tea. Um, it's so large, it's almost five inches wide, it's about five inches wide, maybe about three and a half inches tall, and so it's almost like cereal, cereal bowl size or soup bowl size. Um, but this is in fact used for tea, and I'm going to um, demonstrate now how a bowl of matcha is made, and um, very informally, this can be um, you know, there are ceremonies that uh, revolve around this process, but I'm not going to get into that now. I'm no, I'm no tea master, but um, I do enjoy making teaware. Um, I make several different types. I'll talk about those in other videos. I'm going to keep these to little short, uh, little short snippets. And um, so, matcha tea. Let's make a bowl. Okay, so I've cleaned my tea bowl. It's nice and clean. And the first thing I'm going to do here is warm, warm the tea bowl. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water here. And then I'm just going to kind of rotate that water around in the tea bowl. And that's going to warm up the clay, warm up the stoneware. Get it nice and warmed up. And then I'm just actually going to discard this water. I've got another bowl here, which I don't think is in the view of the camera. But it's just a bowl basically used for wastewater. And then I'm going to wipe this out, completely dry it off. It's still nice and warm. Nice and dry and clean. And the next thing I'm going to do is add my matcha. This comes usually in a bag or a can, and um, what most people will do is they'll actually use sort of just a small kitchen strainer to sort of break up the tea. Um, it has a tendency to um, cling to itself um, just because of static, I believe. So matcha is, uh, I'm going to use this bamboo spoon here. This is made uh, especially for matcha, for measuring matcha. Usually it takes about one and a half of these bamboo spoons full of uh, matcha to make a bowl. Um, so I just drop that in to the strainer. And then I go ahead and I push it through with the spoon. It's just a very simple bamboo spoon. Also for this process, um, this is called a chazin, and it's uh, it's actually a bamboo whisk, also made for um, making matcha tea. So I've got my tea in the bowl. And you can see it doesn't really look like a whole much of anything really. It's just a little bit of tea in the bowl. And I'm going to add some water. Not a whole lot of water. Usually it's this is about 50 to 60 milliliters of water. So about two ounces of water. Now the way you use the whisk is not like this, but basically um, what you want to do is move the whisk in an M shape or you could also think of it as a W shape. And you do that fairly briskly. And it usually takes me about 20 to 30 seconds to whisk a bowl of matcha. I like it nice and frothy. So now you can see that the matcha is then mixed up thor thoroughly with the water and is nice and frothy and bubbly and delicious. And that's how you make a bowl of matcha. <laughs> 